In Angular, style binding is used to apply inline styles to HTML elements. And style binding is pretty similar to class binding, so let's dive right into an example. Now I'm gonna add a new h2 element and let the text be style binding. Let's say we want to bind to the color CSS property. For that, here is the syntax. We start off with square brackets. Within square brackets, we are going to say style followed by dot followed by color, which is the CSS property that we want to bind to. And to this, we can assign the color as a string value. So it's equal to double quotes, within double quotes, single quotes, and within single quotes, let's bind orange color. So if you save this and take a look at the browser, the element is now in orange color. All right, now in style bindings, it is possible to use the conditional operator to assign a value to the CSS property. For example, we have style.color, so we are still binding to the color CSS property of this h2 element, but this time, on the right hand side, we are going to have a conditional expression. So has error, question mark, within single quotes, red, and then a colon, and then green. So if the property in the class has error is set to true, red color is applied, else green color is applied. Currently has error is set to false, so in the browser, the text should be in green color. And if I change has error to true, in the browser, style binding should now be in red color. All right, now you can also assign component class properties during binding. So let's create another h2 tag. Let the text be style binding too. And let's create a new property. This is going to be public highlight color and set this to orange. Now let's bind this property highlight color to the color CSS property of this h2 element. And here's how you do it. Begin with square brackets. And within the square brackets, style followed by a dot followed by the CSS property. In our case, it is color. And then to this, we assign the class property that we have just created. So it's equal to highlight color. So now if you take a look at the browser, you can see style binding two is displayed in orange. So by having a property bound to this color style, you can change the highlight color to be any color you want to based on user interactions or state of your application. So this gives you a lot of control. And finally, to apply multiple styles, we need to make use of the ng style directive. And this is just like the ng class directive. So first, let's create an object with all the styles we want to apply. So this is going to be public title styles. Let's give it a color of blue and then font style of italic. Now remember, we cannot use hyphen over here, so we need to use camel case, font style with an uppercase S. And then we create a new H2 element again. Style binding three is the text and we can use the ng style directive. So within square brackets, we use the keyword ng style and to this, we bind the object that we have just created. So title, styles. So now if you save this and take a look at the browser, you can see that the element has a blue color with italic styling. So that's pretty much it about style binding in Angular. Thank you guys for watching. And if you guys are finding the videos to be useful, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.